Hi everyone, this is Kelsey Fair from K Fair Landscape Design, and today I'm here with my friend Kent from Pipe Dreams Greywater Harvesting, um, all the way down from Sacramento. So he's come down. We just finished installing a greywater system here in Silver Lake, California, and we wanted to just show you kind of how it operates. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to walk you through is exactly how the water comes out and how the plants really get to benefit and where they are uptaking um, the water. So Kent is going to kind of walk us through what are called the mulch basins and how they work. So Kent, why don't you go ahead and show us? Sure. Yeah, so the, uh, the gray water from the laundry system uh, comes out of the building over here. It follows a one inch pipe uh, through our mulch basins here. And uh, come on, let's take a look at one. <laughs> So here you can see the water uh, tees off of the main line and goes right into this outlet chamber, which will open up. So I don't know if you can get a good uh, picture of that, but you can see there's there's some dampness in the bottom there. Water just comes right out of this uh, half inch tube. It's a really uh, relatively low maintenance system, uh, inexpensive and does not require a permit. Yeah. Back to you, Kelsey. So this is a really awesome system. It's it's called a laundry to landscape system. So if you have a high efficiency washer, you use 20 gallons of water per cycle, which is a lot. And a lot of people still don't use high efficiency. Low efficiency wa uh, washing machines use as much as 40 gallons per wash. So that's a lot of water that can be used in our landscapes, especially in California. Uh, really reducing the amount of water obviously that you use um, in an eco-friendly way and, and gray water has really become a solution for that. So this is actually something that the homeowner can do. Very, very easy. Uh, again, you don't need permitting for it. Um, but before we end this video, I just want to show you kind of where it comes out of the house. Um, so Kent, how, how does this, how does the water like come through? Like is it, is it pumped? Like how does that, how does sure. that sort of work? Yeah, it, it relies on the, the pump in the washing machine itself to uh, send the water down the line. And, uh, and then it also sort of moves by gravity through the system as well. Yeah. You can see the transition from the interior plumbing to the exterior plumbing there. And, uh, and yeah, it loops around that way. There's one basin on the far end over there and then four on this side of the deck. Yeah. Um, and then, Kent, what are what does the homeowner have to think about as far as maintenance on these systems? What what would they kind of need to do? Uh, and then, how often do they need to do it with a regular gravity-fed uh, laundry day landscape system, which is what we're looking at? Yeah, uh, about once a year, uh, you can connect a uh, a garden hose okay. to the uh, to a clean-out fitting at this transition, and just blow some water through the line to clear out any any gunk and make sure that uh, water's coming out of each outlet. So cool. that's, that's uh, when, we, uh, when we build a system, we give the owner a list of, of the maintenance requirements so that they don't have to remember. Mm. So now we're actually upstairs inside the living room. So this is basically what the homeowner sees when they have a gray water laundry to landscape system installed in their home. And it's super, super easy. So basically the homeowner has a choice between going from a sewer valve, going the water pushing to their sewer or going to their gray water system. And mainly the reason for that may be mm, Maybe you want to bleach a bunch of whites and you don't want to put a bunch of chemicals. Bleach in particular is really, really bad for plants. Um, so if you wanted to use a non gray water friendly detergent or any other type of chemical in your system, you'd want to switch the valve into your sewer system and have it flush into there. So can, can you just kind of show us how that works? Yeah, come on. <laughs> So uh, this is the three-way diverter valve, and we've um, attached the washer drain pipe to the uh, to this diverter valve. Right now, it's in handle up, gray water to garden. So the water comes here, and it's pumped up this way, and then down through the crawl space and out to um, what we were looking at earlier. And then if we turn it this way, gray water to sewer. Uh, it pumps it uh, through the valve and then to the regular uh, sewer connection that was there previously. And you can do that, yeah, if you have a problem with your gray water system, want to do some maintenance or uh, want to use some chemicals that aren't good for your garden. 
Yeah, so, so basically, um, again, the simplicity of the system is really what makes it so beautiful, easy to use, and easy to maintain. So really the only difference is that this pipe, which is the pipe that you saw coming out of the wall, or at least what it's connected to, is basically what's leading into the garden via a gravity-fed system because these people had a great property for a gray water harvesting system. It's all the great uh, grazed um, platform and a crawl space that we could work in. So again, they just they can switch it either to gray water to sewer or gray water into the landscape. And very, very easy, very, very uh, efficient, low energy, low cost. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty it's great, fantastic. huh? It's <laughs> great. Yeah. <laughs> So that's me, Kelsey Fair from K-Fair Landscape Design, and... Kent Thompson with Pipe Dreams Graywater. Yeah, and you can check out more on my web website at californiagardengirl.com.